In a closed economy, the gross domestic product consists of consumption, investments, and government purchases. In an open economy, some domestic goods and services would be exported, and some foreign goods and services would be imported. The gap between exports and import is called net exports (NX). NX must be added to consumption, investment, and government spending to make up the gross domestic product. Here, NX is positive because exports exceed imports. When consumption C and government spending G are higher, the sum of consumption, investment, and government spending would exceed the gross domestic product. These excess domestic expenditures would have to be made up by negative net exports. In other words, by importing more than the economy exports. When negative exports are subtracted from domestic expenditures, the total would equal to the gross domestic product. To see how negative exports help to fund excess domestic expenditures, let's introduce taxes. Since taxes are lower than government expenditures, negative exports help to fund the budget deficit. Since consumption and taxes together exceed GDP. Negative exports also fund negative saving, and since domestic saving is negative, negative exports also help to fund all the investment. In an open economy, GDP must take into account what has been exported and imported, that is, net exports (NX). In addition to consumption C, investment I, and government spending G, to see how net exports (NX) affect the domestic economy, let's leave NX on one side of the equation. By introducing taxes to the left-hand side of the equation. We can see that GDP minus consumption C minus taxes T amounts to private saving. Subtract investment I from private saving. We have the saving investment gap. Taxes T minus government spending G is nothing but the budget gap. View in this light. NX net exports cover the saving investment gap and the budget gap. When exports exceed imports, NX will be positive. How might this positive NX come about? Let's substitute some numbers into the equation. Say GDP is five hundred. C is 250, T is 100, I is 120, T is 100 again, G is 80. So it turns out the positive NX is generated by a positive saving investment gap and a budget surplus. A different set of numbers may generate only a positive saving investment gap, but a budget deficit. But as long as the sum of the gaps remains positive, NX will be positive.
when imports exceeds exports, NX is negative. How might this negative NX come about? Let's substitute some numbers into the equation. Say GDP stays at 500, C has gone up to 420, T stays at 100, I stays at 120, T is 100 again, G has gone up to 120. So the negative NX is generated by a negative saving investment gap and a budget deficit. In the United States, the negative NX has funded the budget deficit as well as excessive consumption.